In this video, we'll talk about how we can fix an error that you might get when you try to initialize I inside the for loop. So the error says for loop initial declarations are only allowed in C99 or C11 mode. And that's pretty much the, um, the error is the title of a video. So this error occurs because C90, which is the default mode in some older compilers. So I'm using Dev C++, which also has C90 as the default mode. It doesn't allow declaring variables inside the for loops in this way. You must declare I before the loop because C90 does not support declaring variables within for loops. So when we say for integer I is equal to zero, that's gonna give us a problem. So what we can do is declare I before the loop and then just run the program and it should work as expected. Um, so that's if you are using C90. However, if you wanted to be able to give yourself the option to use this feature where you declare I inside integer I inside the for loop, then we will um, we will have to compile with C99 or C11 or to enable modern features, which is done by enabling standard um, is equal to C99 or C11 in dev C++ settings. And let's have a look at the steps to enable um, either one. So the first step is to click tools in the menu bar. So tools. Second step is to click on compiler options. And then the third step in the general tab, find and tick the textbook, uh, not textbook, text text box labeled, add the following commands when calling the compiler, and then add the following line. So uh, dash standard std is equal to C99. Now, if you wanna use C11, then you could just change that to 11 instead. Um, I'm gonna go with 99, it doesn't matter. And then click, for me, it won't matter, um, but you know you have the option if you wanted to do C11. Now click OK to save the changes and then compile the program. Remember now we are no longer in um, declaring I before, before the loop. So now the program works successfully. On a final note, should you use C99 or C11? C11 is the 2011 version of the C standard, which is an improved version over C99. If you are just learning C, then C99 is good enough. But if you want the latest features and better fun uh, better compatibility, well, that was hard to say, then C11 is recommended. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope it was helpful to you and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.